Um, mm -hmm. Any other questions? All right. Oh, I can tell you what I'm doing now. I, I quit oh, yeah. making films. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And I'm, <clears throat> for the last two months, I've been building a copy of Thoreau's Cabin uh, in the mountains. And um, which mountain? Uh, up in the Sierras. I have a place on the, in the foothills of the Sierras. And um, I've also been doing copying paintings of folk artists. And I, uh, I'm gonna when I'm finished with the cabin, I'm gonna have a show with uh, the paintings of Bill Trailer, Moe Tolliver, uh, an Indian's plane drawing. Uh, a sketch of the spiral jetty by uh, Robert Smithson, and uh, an, a, a shot of a hand colored photograph of a train. And they're all copies. But they, they look very real. So. Um, the cabin, however, uh, is going to look like a 2007 model of uh, Thoreau's cabin. I'm using uh, very expensive materials, and I'm not making sh hand shingles and things. So it's, I've got a very beautiful asphalt roof that's very thick asphalt shingles that mimic the uh, cedar shingles he made by hand. So what? And I bought really expensive uh, windows uh, that are metal on the outside and win wood on the inside. Um, and, and they don't have the crossbars in them like he did. He had this. So if you get back like 50 yards, it'll pretty much look like his cabin. But then as you get closer, <laughs> you'll see it's, it'll be uh, green using modern technology. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. are Thoreau's like blue plans for his cabin? They're on the oh. internet. I mean, <laughs> and he, he. Uh, he, yeah, I don't think he put them on, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he describes the cabin quite well in Walden. So I, he built it with this cage structure, and I bu used the same structure to support it. And he really overbuilt it. It's really well built. It doesn't shake at all. So, and, but I'm, I've been having fun doing that. So I think I'm making a, an important sculpture piece. Fraudulent art inside. <laughs> well, what's interesting? What what is what is fascinating you about copying art? Well, when I I, I don't know if you people know Bill Trailer, but he's he was he's a black artist that died in 1948, who were, was born a slave actually, and then uh, worked on the plantation after he was freed from his being a slave, and uh, he outlived all the plantation uh, workers, our owners. And so when they died, he moved into Montgomery, Alabama at the age of 80. And he started doing paintings and drawings on the street, and he did 1,500 paintings and drawings in the next three years. And half of them are from memory because, as he said, I miss plowing so bad today I had to draw it. <laughs> and, uh, and then he also drew the stuff he saw on the street. So it's a chronicle of his life from memory and from the present. And the way he puts it, he liked to use old pieces of cardboard that were, would be bent or scraped, and then he'd integrate that into the painting somehow. And the way he puts an image on the paper made me very aware about framing. And I, I have the feeling from looking at his paintings that he knew a lot about contour plowing by the way he fits things to, together. You know. So when, he, when people write about him being a naive artist, I have, I have to argue against that. I think he's actually not naive at all, and he brings all of what he learned from working on a plantation for well, I don't know, 76 of his 80 years uh, to this, to, to the frame. Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot from, from doing that. And, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what I'm learning uh, from building the cabin yet. It's, I'm learning it's a lot 
hard work. Back hurts a lot. <laughs> Um, but it's about isolation, and, and I've been reading Emily Dickinson now, and I've, I'm thinking about uh, not making films anymore and, and buying a digital camera and then just record things I look at. And then hi, uh, uh, Emily Dickinson wrote 1,775 poems, and I'd want to do... 1775 video discs to be found later. <laughs> <laughs> if they're found too much later, though, we won't be able to read them. I will. It's <laughs> a <laughs> problem. I'll have to clone them right up to the end. <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking about it. I, I'm very interested in what. She, I mean, she didn't actually work in the vacuum I thought she did. She had friends and shared her work with it. But she never had critical attention while she was alive, and only five of her poems were published while she was alive. And, and of those five, all five of them were changed by the men who, who published them because they thought the verse was, was too radical or was not understandable enough. So they actually published changes of her poems, not her real poems. You know. So she never really got, uh, she didn't sit in front of people and talk like this. And I'm, I'm kind of interested in how it, working like that, it, just showing it to friends and having friends talk to you, and then what will you do next? So. But we're all your friends. I, well, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but I, I'm, I don't know. I, there's no people in my films anymore. I mean, like it's <laughs> I, we'll see. I'll, I miss uh, putting film in my camera already, but I hope you keep it up, one way or another. And thank you very much for uh, joining us.